A courtroom shocker, a sketch of justice suspended and for many incomplete. As former KCK cop Roger Golubsky was found dead at his Edwardsville home as his trial on alleged civil rights violations and involvement in a sex trafficking ring was set to begin. Sources tell KSHB 41 News, former police detective Roger Golubsky shot and killed himself this morning. So tonight we break down what it means for activists pushing for justice and police reform, implications for both the victims and those with connections to Golubsky's alleged actions and reaction from one man exonerated after spending 23 years in prison because of Roger Golubsky. KSHB 41's Megan Abundance hands the mic to that man, Lamont McIntyre, for his thoughts on today's unexpected turn. Normally you ask Lamont McIntyre how he's doing. He'll say he's peaceful. He's at peace after being exonerated for a crime he didn't commit. But today that peace may have been rocked when he heard that the former KCK detective who helped wrongly put him behind bars for 23 years killed himself. My peace was disturbed, man. My peace was disturbed because um, I expected something. I expected justice the way we see it, the way we, way I wanted it. I sit in a cell for 23 years. Uh, trying to prove my innocence. Justice to me looked like him spending time in the prison cell so he can feel what I felt because he put me in that situation. It don't feel like a win today. It's, don't, it's not a win. Um, it's feel like he robbed. He did a lot of, even in his death, he took from people. He says he was robbed of hearing the trial of Roger Golubsky play out. People don't know what happened behind the scenes. They don't really know how much damage he did. They don't know how many victims he really had. So the story is still untold. There were things he's waited decades to hear. Me, of all people, or my mother, uh, you know, he victimized a lot of people, but in my situation, why me? And that's, he didn't know me, I didn't know him. And I just wanted to know what happened leading up to that moment, because I don't know. Information that he and his mother, Rosie, have tried to find out for years. We talked with her in 2017. You just gonna take him from me for no reason. So I'm not gonna do that. I'm, I'm gonna fight you to I have no breath. She'd been saying for a long time that Roger Galusi had did something to her. They, did, they ignored her, right? But she kept pushing. Her hard work helped clear her son's name. We walked down that walkway from that, that jail holding hands. People wanted to see this man suffer because he had tortured, raped, and tormented so many people for so many years, and now he don't have to feel nothing no more. So I think that's the, the bitter part of my, my feelings. In Kansas City, I'm Megan Abundis, KSHB 41 News.